Hey folks, Peter here from PeterFitzer.com and today I wanted to show you guys uh, an awesome strategy that will make your t-shirt research process much more efficient. We're going to be using Evernote. It's free. It's cross-platform. You have it for Mac, Windows, and your phone. Uh, the main thing to take out of this tutorial is how to organize using Evernote. Um, so with that said, let's get started. I've got a fresh new Evernote account started over here. So if you've never had if you've never used Evernote, this is what you'll be looking at. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into notebooks over here. Create a new notebook and let's just call this notebook niche research. Click on create. Boom, that one's done. The next one I'm going to create is called on deck. I'm going to create two more. This next one's going to be called running. And this last one's going to be called completed. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just simply going to grab this top notebook and drag it into the next one here. That creates a stack that contains both of those notebooks now. I'm going to grab the rest of our notebooks and I'm going to put them all into this stack. And now we can see they're all in here. And a stack is basically a container to hold multiple notebooks. And I'll show you why I'm doing that in just a moment. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to um, rename this stack by right clicking on it, clicking rename. And I'm just going to call this t-shirt research. Great. So now I have this stack right here with all of my notebooks in it. And I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to click add to shortcuts. What that's going to do is that's going to add this t-shirt research stack over here to the shortcuts for quick access. And now I can see that I have all of these here. I'm actually going to do one more thing that I forgot to do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this notebook because we don't need that. And what I want to do is I want to rename this. I want it to be actually one niche research two on deck three running and four completed uh, and then I'm just gonna hit the sync button right here and that should put these into the correct order okay so the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to download the Evernote web clipper and uh, it's a free Google Chrome plugin, and it'll put this little elephant guy in your uh, browser as a little tab right here, where now you can just easily click on uh, on the button here, and you can add notes to your Evernote. Uh, once you get this set up and logged in, you'll be ready to go. The next thing we want to do here is set up a couple of options in our Evernote web clipper. We're going to come in here into the options, and we're going to change the notebook selection to always start in niche research. We're going to uh, leave on the smart filtering and we can leave the default clip action as last use action. And uh, I always just put it on automatically close clipper. I turn this off because uh, I don't want to see the related results. It's distracting and then done. So great, we're all set up with our Evernote and our web clipper. So now on to the actual research part. So I'm uh, I'm actually going to use Pinterest, and I have a an awesome plugin that I'm using. It's called the Pin. I actually think it's closed right now, but it doesn't matter because as I said, this works for any uh, any research you're doing for basically anything. But in this case, it works really well for T-shirts. So let's just say I want to search in the pit bull for pit bull shirts so right here pinterest is obviously an amazing tool to look for uh inspiration for t-shirt designs so i have a million designs right here and i actually have this uh this tool it's called the pin i'm gonna let it collect these pins and do some sorting for me okay so it's uh, collected about 995 pins and with this awesome tool uh, you can sort it by repins, likes, comments, 
or recent. I'm going to leave it sorted by repins. So now that they're sorted by repins, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through and I'm going to find the ones that I like, that I get inspiration from, that I can start saving and start using for my ideas for my shirts. So let's just go with this one here. Just click on it and go to the actual pin. What we can do is we can come over here and you can gather data in different ways. You can clip the whole article, which will take the whole page. I don't really like to do that too often. Uh, you can do the full page, which will try to take the entire page, the HTML and everything. You can do just a bookmark, which will just get the, uh, the link to it. That's okay too. Um, but I actually like to do screenshot most of the time. And that's because I can simply take a screenshot of this image and it will save it right to uh, my niche research. You can see it's gonna save it to niche research right here. And then I'll give it a title, you know, um, plans with my dog and simply click save. So now if we come back over to our Evernote uh, desktop browser here and hit sync, we'll see that this is now saved to our uh, to our Evernote for easy access. And the cool part about doing the screenshot like that is that you can just, this is the full URL right here. And you can just click on it and have easy access to go and, and get back to your idea or your inspiration that you found. So another cool trick that we can do here is, let's say I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to grab this shirt for my research as well. I'm going to do uh, another screenshot, same thing, boom, it comes up here. And even if you want, you can add a remark, whatever you want, uh, you know, this is the one, <laughs> as in this is the one that, that I love the most or whatever. And then just click save and come back in here, hit sync, and we'll see that this is now there and we can come to the shirt right here simply by clicking our link right here and it comes right up this is the power of Evernote you can curate all of these ideas quickly and you can get them prepared and ready for your execution when you actually are uh, doing your launch days uh, so just another quick tip what you can do here if, if you have a bunch of shirts in the same niche that you were just going through and saving if you select all of those items and just right click on them you can merge those notes together and now they're merged with a nice divider here a gray divider and you have all your shirts in one note you can name it whatever you want pitbull niche and you have all the links right here you have the shirts and the images and it's just a beautiful thing so the next part of this organization strategy is once you're ready to start launching shirts and you've done the research, you'll have maybe maybe 10, 20 niches shirts here. And what you do next, when you're ready to launch a shirt or a niche, you can simply move this note to your running notebook. And now you'll know which shirts you have running and you can go quickly back to all the information of where you found the shirt, the images of the original shirts that you got the inspiration from and all that good stuff. Let's do one more here just so I have another niche. Let's try nurse shirts and get some of these loaded up. Uh, so, so same thing. We'll do a screenshot. We'll get this image screenshot we'll give this one a new a new name and simply hit save it's saved come back here it is now ready and in our niche research uh, notebook here but let's say uh, that you have you, you've already got uh, six seven ten shirts running but those are running and everything's good ads are going you're keeping up with that but you have some spare time in, in the day and you want to start going through the all of the other ones that you have in niche research so what you can do is that's why we have this on deck uh, notebook here because say we wanted to we want we 
we're not ready to run this uh, the nurse niche yet, but we are going to run that next when our other campaigns bunch fail or whatever. You're ready to move on. Uh, so what we can do is we can just move this note to the on deck notebook because that's what that's for. So now you have uh, your campaigns that are running. You have your campaigns that are on deck. And uh, once uh, your running campaign finishes, say this finishes and it failed, what I'll do is I will move this to the completed notebook. And there it is now. And there's nothing in running now you can see because I've taken that out. And what I'll do is I'll tag this failed. And if it was a success, I'll, I'll name it success. Or whatever you want to, however you want to tag it. I, I like success and fail because then that way I can just come up here and search for success. And I'll, it'll show me all of my shirts that were a success. And if I type in fail, it will show me all of my shirts that were that failed. And the beauty of this is it doesn't just work with images. It doesn't just work with Pinterest. It works with, for example, audience insights. You know, so let's say I found a bunch of interest in audience insights or wherever I've got my interest from. And I can just come here and I can type in or I can copy paste in my my interests. No matter what now, I will always have my designs and my interests all right in a clean, concise manner. And I will know if I have ran them, if they have failed, if they succeeded, if I'm ready to run them, and uh, so on and so forth. And just the last thing I want to mention, since Evernote can be installed on your phone, that means that whenever you're out, if you see a bumper sticker or you see somebody wearing a shirt and you can grab a picture of them or a picture of the bumper sticker, you can easily do the same thing and just take it with Evernote and it will go right into your niche research notebook and boom, you're ready with more designs and more research. Thanks for watching. If you guys like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and also drop by peterfitzer.com and sign up to be the first to know when I release a new video. Plus, get exclusive access to all the bonus materials I may mention in the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.